everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'm here with some Hatchimals Pixies. I've been getting really into this line lately. I really do like the Pixies. I wasn't like a huge fan of the normal Hatchimals. Um, some of the animals were quite cute, but I have done some videos on those before, particularly I think they were like called the Friends line where they had a mini Hatchimal. Um, I will link a playlist of all Hatchimals related videos down below. So no matter what time you're watching this video, whether it's in the future or whatever you can at least have a little look at that um and also by the way i wanted to say thank you all so much for 700 subscribers or over 700 now um yeah it's amazing thank you so much i really really appreciate that i was hanging on the edge of like you know 690 something for ages so really really appreciate that so thanks to everyone and everybody who comments and likes i always really notice stuff like that um and i'd love to hear from you guys so please keep leaving comments that's really nice to see um but yeah so today we're gonna have a look at some of the hatchimals pixies vacay style so yeah when they started to bring out these pixies there was like the first line that i wasn't too keen on but then this line was one of the kind of older ones and i actually find these really really cute there's only specific ones i like but thankfully there is a hack so if you happen across these i'll let you know how to sort of tell you know if there's a particular one you want um yeah so i have a couple to show you today there's this pack which obviously i haven't opened yet and then i have one that i've kind of stuffed all in here which i opened previously so i'm pretty sure i didn't do a video on this i want to say it was actually on my birthday that i saw this particular one and i'm sure i bought it and actually opened it like on the day because i think we went like shopping in bristol or something like that this year um so that was obviously you know a good few months ago um but yeah so we'll actually start with that one then so this is the little suitcase i really love this because it is reusable it opens up with like a little clip really nicely um, and then I think this is the checklist here so this is the purple passport so they released two lines of these there was a purple passport series um, and then there was a pink passport series um, so yes yeah, so here are some cute pictures of the dolls so they're all in different places which are all in America that's kind of boring isn't it passport and they're all like in the same country i just find that so boring um they could have they could have expanded with that but they're still really cute um so there's nashville new york city miami austin and los angeles um so yeah and then here are the different ones so five different types so i always like to just collect my favorite ones and i do love again with this line that you can kind of find which ones you like best with all of the hatchimals pixies normally they're kind of color code or some sort of hack um so i'm definitely collecting a lot more of these i really do like this line it's super cute um so the one i have to show you first is this little one here and her name is what is it chloe uh, cloud chloe and she is off to miami so i really like her because of her sort of beachy theme the sort of sailor outfit is super cute so here is the actual little doll and she comes with this little headband as well that was one of the accessories if i'm remembering correctly so so cute i love her little outfit and the way she looks and the glittery hair as well such a nice color she has a little pair of wings they're slightly wonky um on the back but still really cute they kind of flutter around so yeah absolutely love her and then they do also come with stands which i really appreciate you know as an adult toy collector i love the fact that we have little stands and you know that that's kind of been thought about by you know the designers because i think even for kids actually it's nice to be able to put them up on a shelf or put them somewhere maybe we're not actually like playing with them so those are really nice there's a little peg um in the stand to just slot into the foot um, and then she had a couple of extra little accessories. We have this little ring. I forget what these are called, like a little safety ring thingy. That's not exactly what it's called, but something along those lines. So we could maybe just pop that on her arm. Um, and then she also had this really cute kind of nautical sailor themed um, little bag there. Also really love that. And I can actually hook that in her hand. She actually holds that, so that's really cool that you can slot that into her hand. Um, but yeah, I really love her. They're obviously really tiny. I got these actually on sale from uh, The Entertainer. So if you live in the UK and you want any of these, it might be worthwhile popping in there because I'm pretty sure certain stores still have them. Um, and I think it was like £4 or something. Maybe originally they were maybe around £8, £10. And I'm pretty sure these were something like three fifty four pound. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was along those lines. So to me, that's a really good deal for a super cute little doll. And yeah, I really like them. And like I said, it's quite cool because you can store it all actually back in there. Um, and she also came with this really cute little sticker sheet. 
um, and that is obviously matching all of the themes, so sort of sailor themed um, and kind of boats and obviously Miami, so really cute. Um, and so the stickers are actually the way to hack these. So if you don't know already, basically you wanna have a look at the front of the package and literally just look here and whatever sticker you can see through here is corresponding with what doll. Um, so obviously you'd have to be maybe familiar with what types there are. Um, but for example, with this one, if that would be kind of stuck in there, you would possibly start to see the ring and the sailor's hat. So if you want the one that I've just showed you there, the uh, Chloe one, who's going to Miami, definitely look for those stickers. And that's a really nice and easy hack with these. I like it because you know, if you're just wanting to pick one up at random, you don't really have to pay attention to that. But if you are a collector, if you want to get them all, as long as you get different ones, that's amazing. Um, so yeah, so there was only one other one that I kind of wanted in this series. They were all quite cute. I think you, most people would expect that maybe I'd want the really kawaii kind of pastel one, but she was a little bit too, like sort of kawaii for me, if that makes sense. Sometimes you can go too girly and too cute. Um, so actually the one that I really liked is this one here. Um, so... Aluma Alani, I think, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So that should hopefully be who we've got here. So that's the one with kind of, we can see this cacti and we can see a little pair of sunglasses. And then it just looks like this inside the packaging. So we can see the sticker sheet straight away. So let's peel this off, there we go. Um, so this is quite like hippie looking, quite cutesy. Yeah, very hippie with like a van and music and stuff like that. Pretty cute little stickers though. I have to find a use for those in my journal probably. And then we have three other suitcases. I do really like the packaging of this. So this one I think contains our doll. And then we two, we have two other people screaming outside, slightly concerning. Um, and then we have two other little suitcases. And unfortunately these actually don't open. These have to be broken in, which is kind of a shame because they're so cute and it would have been nice if they popped open a similar way to the bigger suitcase. Um, but I suppose it is whole, the whole kind of gimmick and thing of Hatchimals that you always like break open these little eggs. So I do kind of like that they incorporated that, but I almost wish that there was like an extra piece so you could, you know, reuse these. Um, but yeah, so let's just open these up and get our accessories. So they just kind of snap open. And in here, that's really cool, we have a little pair of sunglasses. So we have these little translucent yellow sunglasses. And yeah, literally all of this um, lighter purple bit kind of breaks off. And then there's a bit of plastic casing in there. And then when you kind of break off around the edge, you're literally just left with this bit, which I suppose you could use, like if you faced it that way, it could be a cute display piece. I will probably save it and maybe use it for photos or something like that. But again, I think it would have been a little bit cuter if it's still kind of sealed up. And then let's have a look at the other one. Oh. Seems to be a really small accessory in here. <laughs> so we have a tiny little bag. So that also kind of seems like a waste of plastic. We've got this entire case here and all we've got inside is this very, very small little bag. It almost looks like it's meant to be like a string hanging down. I think there's a name for that type of bag, but I can't think what it is. Uh, but yeah, really cute accessories though. Um, I don't know if there's meant to be like, you can find a stowaway, which is like one of the little animals. Um, I don't know if that would be hidden maybe in here, which is why there's a lot of space. Um, but either way, it does seem like, you know, quite a bit of waste of plastic. I feel like potentially these toys could have just had one of these and like just fit both accessories in there rather than having extra ones. But I suppose for kids, they like the extra opening experience, don't they? Um, but yeah, so here is this one then. So here's our little doll. She looks so cute. I was gonna say, I think she, I might prefer her to the last one because she is so pretty. So I love her hair. She's got little buns, glittery again. And her outfit is just so nice. It looks quite like boho, is that the word? Really cute, little glittery wings again. Yeah, I really love their, their style and their fashion. It's so cute. Um, and the heads do turn, by the way. So a tiny bit of articulation. Um, so yeah, so this one is Aluma Lana. Um, and she's going to Austin. And then we have a little bag here. I'm assuming more accessories. Oh cool, yeah, so this is where the little stand is. So she has a little purple stand and she has her headband as well. I thought for a second I might have had a stowaway when I saw that blind bag, but nope. But like I said, I'm not too fussed about the animal ones anyway. I much prefer these little pixies. I'm really glad they released this line because it's so cute. 
So I'm not fully sure which way around this goes, but I'm just gonna kind of hook that around her head. Something like that, maybe? That looks really quite cute. She definitely does look quite hippie, but I like that. Um, and then of course her sunglasses. There we go, and her little handbag, which she can hold in her hand like that. That is so cute. The glasses are quite uh, big and chunky, but it still is quite cute. It definitely goes with the hippie look. Um, and then just kind of pushing her onto the stand. These stands are actually really nice. I love that they're hearts. Yeah, and no, I really like these. I think they're so adorable. They're small. I love small dolls. Um, normally I'm not super keen on dolls with like plastic hair. I prefer real style hair. But with these, I think the fact that they're glittery, they're so colourful. I just really like that. So here are my two girls. I'm still on the look for one more. I think there's one from the Pink Passport collection that I'm trying to find. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you prefer Chloe, which is the sailor one, or if you prefer, I think her name was Lana or something like that, Ilana maybe. Um, not fully sure on the name, Ilana, I think. Um, but anyway, or just, you know, the more purple one or the pinkish one, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, let me know which one you preferred. I think, I don't know, I, I think I slightly do prefer this one, but they both are super adorable, really happy with them. And like I said, they can all go inside there. The doll fits perfectly in there with the accessories. You can put the sticker sheet on top and they store in there really nicely. And it's just these bits that don't really fit in. Um, but like I said, probably for photos, they would be quite cute. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments. Let me know what you think of these. And I'll see you next time. Bye.